Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Elisa Bellamy. I am the BISD district wide counselor and welcome to another session of our mental wealth for the BISD community, investing in your personal health and well-being and safety. Uh, today, we have Behavioral Health Solutions of South Texas. Uh, we are having a presentation on the Caring for Mommies program. We have Sagnita Blanco, the program director, and we also have Maria uh, Aguilar today, the intervention specialist presenting on the Caring for Mommies program. Thank you and welcome to our channel. Hi, good morning. My name is Maria Aguilar. I'm with Behavioral Health Solutions of South Texas. I'm the intervention specialist for caring for mommies. Um, next slide, slide, please. So I'm within uh, behavioral health, there are different agencies. So I'm gonna talk about a few of those right now. So Behavioral Health Solutions is a nonprofit center for integrated prevention, intervention, treatment, recovery, and research. We have a program called Recovery United. The, this program provides peer support to adults wanting to initiate or maintain their recovery from substance use. We also have Empowering Communities, which provides prevention and intervention services to youth, adults, and their families living in the colonias. We also have our sister program, called Padres, which they also provide intervention services, brief case management and uh, for mothers and fathers. We also have Empowering Hope for adults. They, also, they have an outpatient treatment services for adults only. We also have Monarch, which uh, they have outpatient treatment services for our youth, 13 to 17 years old. Um, next slide, please. So this brings me to our Caring for Mommies program. So our Caring for Mommies program, here we provide intense intervention services to help reduce risk factors to our mom, to our moms or expecting moms and their child. Risk factors include history or current use of substance use, either legal or illegal, current past substance use disorder, domestic violence, mental health, teen pregnancy, and CPS involvement in financial distress. Next slide, please. So you may ask, who do we service? We currently service women um, and their families in Cameron and Hidalgo counties who are youth or an adult who are uh, pregnant, who have a child under the age of six, we do have, after the child ages out, some moms continue to receive services because they feel that they really benefit from our services and what we have to offer. So even after the child turns seven, um, moms do stay in our program. We also service uh, women who report a past or current substance use disorder or other health or other risk factors such as domestic violence, CPS involvement, substance exposed pregnancy. Um, we do have referrals from CPS and Tropical uh, where we offer those parenting classes to assist your case. So we, next slide, sorry. Um, so services we offer. So we offer intense case management where we set up goals along with you, uh, you know, that you may want to accomplish for that year. So we sit down and we'll sit with you go over, you know, small, big goals that you want to accomplish for that year, and we help you achieve those goals. We also do, to in order to accomplish those goals, we offer home visits, telehealth, meaning we'll do Zoom sessions, or we can do in person, wherever you feel comfortable, that's where we'll go and meet with you. We have individual or group ses sessions, again, those we offer face-to-face -face and virtual. We also have uh, evidence-informed education where we provide parenting topics such as breastfeeding, uh, child development, uh, communication skills, and life skills. We also base those curriculums off of our 
uh, Mommy Toolkit, where we provide uh, peer-based recovery support services. So again, within those groups, there's certain topics that may come up in our group session that you know moms want to talk about that we'll bring up in the next session or in the following sessions. So that's something we help the moms with. We also offer subs uh, offer substance use recovery of use or overdose prevention education. We also have referrals out to the community. So if BHS is not able to offer certain services within our agency with, with some of the programs that I mentioned earlier, we do do networking where we're, where we're able to reach out to the community, uh, get those resources that you need in order to complete your goals or whatever you're going through at the moment will help you with that. Um, next slide, please. So some risk, risk factors on how moms can qualify for our services. Uh, there's report past or present substance use disorder, substance exposed pregnancy, teen pregnancy, of course, with the teens, uh, because they are minors or under the age, we do require uh, parental or uh, LAR consent, uh, guardian consent. Um, it's just, you know, so that way we're able to provide those services for our teens. We also uh, service uh, domestic violence. If you've been exposed to violence in your life, either in your neighborhood or, you know, that you've seen it, we, uh, those are some risk factors financial distress, we do provide support with water bills or utility or rent. Um, just let us know ahead of time and we can uh, help you with that. We also uh, provide um, deposits for if you're wanting to rent uh, an apartment. So again, just let us know. Um, we know that it takes gas to get to our appointment. So we do provide gas cards for our clients coming in into, into office sessions. So again, just let us know and we can provide, uh, you know, the gas cards for you. Um, next slide, please. So how can you connect with Caring for Mommies or uh, Behavioral Health Solutions? Again, referrals can be made uh, to us or they get sent to us. Uh, we also receive them via email, fax, or you can give us a call. And we do accept walk-in. So if you happen to be um, in the neighborhood, of, again, um, here in Harlingen, we have offices throughout the whole valley from, um, I want to say we service from Rio to Brownsville to Raymondsville. So we're everywhere. Just give us a, a call and we can help. Um, so if you can go to the next slide, please. We do have offices here. Again, we do service. Caring for Mommies does service only Cameron and Hidalgo. But currently our office, uh, we have one in Harlingen, one in Brownsville, and our main office in FAR, which I work out of. So there's our information. So if you ever just wanna stop by, um, there's our information. Um, next slide, please. So some, some additional um, services we offer our needle natal abstinence uh, response team. Again, that's where we'll meet and discuss different topics um, that we want to make our community aware of. We also have our Parenting with Purpose. We cover different parenting topics, ranging from stress and parenting, healthy relationships, to sibling, uh, sibling rivalry, and a lot more. Or if a different topic comes up within our uh, mommy group, then we'll discuss that, that topic um, in another uh, session. We have Mommies Need Love too, uh, where we hold a safe space for moms who are seeking additional support to share what they are going through and support other mo mothers as well. We have our family fund bonding group uh, where we provide materials for activities or crafts uh, for our parents to bond with their child to strengthen that uh, family unit. Some incentives we also provide uh, for our families that are receiving services. From us, we also provide our mommies with diapers, wipes, baby bottles, uh, baby clothes, 
and postpartum supplies. Um, the cool thing about our agency is our services are free. So um, I just, I don't think I've mentioned that. So um, again, if you're wanting to receive our services, they're absolutely free. So um, again, we do provide all these incentives uh, for our participants. Uh, we did just finish our second annual it, in December. We just hosted our second annual toy drive for our families where we provided over, I wanna say over 30 families with toys uh, for their kids. Uh, we did an uh, in-house here in Harlingen. We did a little Christmas gathering where we provided uh, refreshments, um, a small activity for the kids. We did a little lesson with our moms and it was a lot of fun. Our parents really enjoyed it. Um, I, I feel like they, you know, we had comments like it was really nice. So we got to do that. That was really fun because we know that times, especially during Christmas times can be uh, tight. And, um, and we were able to do something nice, nice for our families and for the kids, um, because I know we, we say it's uh, the caring for mommies, but we, gotta, we can't forget our little ones. So we did something nice for them as well. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then the next slide, uh, the next slide you'll see our information. That's um, my boss, Ms. Sagnite Blanco, of uh, course, my information and then information um, about our agency. Uh, you can call any of those following people and they can direct you where you need to be or where you need to get assistance. Um, again, I just wanna thank you uh, for being patient with me. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, just reach out to us and let us know and we'll get to you as soon as we can. Okay. Thank you. I had a couple of questions on the yes. referrals. Uh, can the girls refer themselves or do you want the teachers or counselors to refer them to the program? They can, they can refer themselves. They can definitely call us in. Um, it is a little bit more formal when the counselors do it, but we do understand that sometimes uh, the kids won't want to open up to the counselors to that level. So if they can call us directly, that works perfectly for us. Okay, and I saw, I noticed uh, on the presentation that your class, some of your classes were hybrid so that they could attend online. Okay. Yes, yes And uh, also, uh, is the diapers and the clothes and the supplies part of the toolkit? Um, no, so the diapers and all the supplies, we provide them constantly to the clients as long as they continue their participation. So usually when clients come in, we provide them with a welcome basket and that'll include like diapers, wipes, like uh, baby hygiene mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and then as they continue participating, we kind of get to know a lot about their lives. Um, so this might sound a little crude, right? But sometimes their kids have tummy issues um, and they need a lot of extra diapers at that time, right? Because their kids are having tummy issues, issues with the formula, whatever it may be. Um, so we take that information and that's how we use utilize those incentives. We'll tell them like, thank you so much for like letting us into your lives and letting us know. We're glad that we can support you. Here's some diapers, here are some wipes because we know you're going through a tough time with your child, right? So they're kind of provided on a constant level and not only that, but we provide um, age appropriate items as well. So we provide them with newborn bottles, right? Bottles that help with colic. And then we also provide them the nipples of those bottles to change out as the baby grows. Um, and as the baby grows, we provide them with sippy cups. We provide them with education on um, what is baby led weaning, right? What foods are appropriate. So we kind of, I know I said a long answer for a short question, but um, we kind of grow with the client and that's how we provide those incentives as we're growing with them and they're sharing more. Um, we provide more, right? Um, and if I could tell you everything that I had in my, you can't see my closet door is open, but there, we don't provide just diapers and wipes. We also provide, you know, like um, the little uh, chupones or the, yeah, the chupones, that's what I know them, that, that give the medication, right? Because I recently, we just recently went through RSV season and we had several moms whose babies either had RSV, they had COVID, unfortunately, or they had the flu. Um, and they were struggling with uh, giving medicine to the baby. So we picked up on that rather quickly. We ordered those things and we handed them out. 
right? So as, as we're going through the seasons of life and things like that, we pick things up, we order things, and we'll kind of disseminate what we feel is the best um, for, for our clients. Um, so yes, that's, that's my answer to that. Well, that's nice. And how long can they stay in the program? Um, there is no actual limit because of the fact that we are intensive case management. So Ms. Maria actually mentioned it. Um, even if their youngest child is six and then, you know, the mom continues in the program, the, the youngest turns seven, they can still stay in that program because what's important is that when they were screened, that child was still six and under. Um, we have clients that stay as little as two months. They just want to finish their parenting classes and like go. Um, we have clients um, that have been longer here longer than I have been here, that I inherited those clients, right? So coming up on two, three years of them participating in the program. Um, so it's really when the mom feels ready. And even when they do feel ready and they do leave, right? Um, sometimes they move or they go to different places or they get a better job and they're a different position. Um, we have had moms that come back. Right. They tell us like we've been gone, but, you know, I'm going through this thing and I really need support again. So then they come back and we service them with arms open. Well, it's very um, I, I love the program since I heard about it. Um, I guess I heard about it in one of those community engagement uh, things that we had with, with BISD. Uh, but I really like it because I, I really feel that everybody needs uh, those types of classes when you're a new mommy, but of mm -hmm. course, especially the young mothers um, that need extra support and extra help and extra resources, uh, but mostly, you know, uh, sharing also like your group uh, with the other mommies that they're all going through the same things because it is, you know, it's not easy having a baby and caring for it. And, you know, everybody could use nutrition classes and and things to help their children get off to a very good start. So thank you very much for presenting, for telling us about your program and for just being there and being available. Um, I'm glad somebody thought of, of this program that is separate from from clinics and things like that. Uh, so um, I'm looking forward to presenting with you on the 31st at Lincoln Park. So I'm glad that you all agreed to do that um, uh, so that uh, our girls, we make sure that uh, I think there's about 30 girls there that I presented to last month uh, that, you know, hopefully they will uh, recognize the services if they're not in them already. So, yeah, of course. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Miss Elisa. And I'm going to go ahead and stop my share right now, okay? Okay. 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 Okay, so I'm going to stop recording it.